In this video, we're going to be importing an RW5 or RAW file into Microsurvey CAD that contains some traverse information. For this, I already have the RW5 file on my computer, so now it's just a matter of importing that. So we're going to go to Traverse, Import Route Data File, and this one was a TDS RW5. So I'm going to select the RAW or RW5 and browse to where it is. So right now the extension is raw. I'm going to change that to RW5 and here are my lot 20 file. Open that. Now for this, I'm going to create a new file because I do not have an existing traverse. This is just a brand new drawing. So I'm just going to create a new file. And you can change the name if you want. But in this case, I'm not going to worry about it. Nor am I going to worry about the, the job parameters. Press OK. Now it's asking if we want to edit the data file. I'm going to say yes. That's going to bring up the active driver's editor. So I'll just maximize this. Here you can see all the store points. If I scroll down, you can start seeing the setup points and all the side shots taken in this project. Now I'll minimize again. It's not in the drawing yet. For that, we have to re-coordinate our traverse. So just before I do that, I have draw distance and draw bearings turned off because I don't want it to draw a bunch of, uh, I don't want the labeling even line to, it might draw. So for this, I'm just going to go to edit. Recoordinate Traverse. Now this dialog here will show up. Now you can select the options if you'd like. In this case, I'm going to leave everything at default. Something to note too as well is the multiple shots options. If there was certain points where there was multiple shots taken to them, you can have it either uh, give you an option to choose how you want to take care of it, or if you just want to set a default to everything to average multiple shots, or you only use the last shot on them. In this case, I'm going to have it let me choose, but I don't, know, I don't believe there's any examples in this in this file. So I'll just press OK. And now it's created the, all the points. So if I close this, do a zoom, extents, here you can see all my points. So I'll just turn my IPNs off. Notice how there's no side shot tra uh, traverse lines here. So if I were to go to traverse and show traverse graphically, in this case I'm not going to draw them quite yet, you can see that there are some traverse lines in there. In this case I actually want to see all my side shots and my traverse lines. So for that, I'm going to just, I've created a new layer called traverse, so I'm just going to select it and run the show traverse graphically again. In this case I'm going to say yes to draw it. And yes, I do want to draw out the side shots. And here it's drawn all the all the side shots as long as the as well as the setup lines through the traverse. Everything else seems to be just store points, possibly taken with a GPS. So that's how you bring in an RW5 file into Microsoft CAD and generate its traverse file.